Hey friends, Cassie Nowak here, and um, I'm just coming on real quickly to give you a little bit more in-depth look at Screencastify, my favorite program used for making your own teacher videos. So the teach part of the learning path is probably the most important part. Of course, the teacher is the most important part of learning. So you want to make sure that you have those videos, and if you can make them yourself, they're even better because they're tailored to exactly what you need. So I'm going to show you how. The first thing you want to do is go to screencastify.com and it's super easy. At the top corner, there's a button that says add to Chrome. Click that. You're adding an extension that you can use into your Chrome toolbar. Then you'll want to click it again and it, you know, asks you some stuff. So just click add extension and it's going to download some things. It's going to do all the work for you and it's going to be done. You can sync it to all your other devices if you want, or you can just X that off. And that's it. Now you have your Chrome Screencastify extension already here. It's a pink little icon with a video camera on it. And now you just need to do a couple more little things before you're ready to record. So if you click it, it'll open up and it will guide you through signing up with Google. And this is really important because you want all of the videos that you create to automatically store in your Google Drive so that you can easily import them into your learning paths. So you'll want to definitely sign in with Google. Okay, so it will connect to your Google account, get you all signed in, then it's gonna ask for your permission to use your camera and all of your things. So just allow all of that and that's it you're ready to go you're ready to um, make your own videos so they can be instructional videos teaching videos just um, a hi how are you doing good morning type of a video whatever you want to make is super easy so when you're ready to record all you have to do is click up here to this pink icon and click on it okay it's going to ask you what you want to record and it also reminds you that you only have five minutes in the free version. So you can go longer than five minutes, but you're gonna to have to cut it into part one, part two, and so forth. So you can choose to embed your webcam or just have your voice. So if you just wanna show something on the screen, then you can just use the microphone and your screen. If you wanna show your face, you can click embed webcam and um, it will it will let you use your camera on your computer to show your face. And it will put your face in the corner in the bottom, just like what you're seeing now with me. And then when you're ready to record, you just click record. And it will give you a couple of seconds to get prepared for the recording. Um, let's see, I am covered. <laughs> Okay, there I am on this one. So you're just gonna select what you want to share with the recorder and then you're gonna click share and it's gonna give you three seconds to get prepared and get ready to go. And that's it. So now we are recording our own little video. So you can tell your kids what you want them to do and all of that good stuff. And then when you're done with your video, you're going to click stop sharing. Okay, so here's the really cool part. It automatically saves your video into your Google Drive. So over here, it's uploading. It is so convenient because here is the link right here. If you wanna copy that and share it with other people. When you click it, it will, um, oh, let's skip the tour. When you click it, it will enable the link sharing automatically copy it automatically and that link is ready to give to anybody so you can paste it in your learning path you can email it to a parent uh, whatever you want to do that's easy um, you can also edit your video down here so if you drag you can drag these little scissors to clip off the end part or the beginning part of your right to click stop <laughs> and then just click save so let's say we want it there just click save trim and it will say that it's going to make the new video that's shorter. So just be sure you want to do that. It'll trim your video automatically. Um, and that is about it. All right, so if you want to title it up here, you can just title it there. And now it's ready to embed in your learning path, share your link or however you want to distribute your video. 
So I want to show you one more thing, and that is that it automatically goes to your Google Drive. So I'm just typing in drive.google.com, and you will see that Screencastify will automatically create a folder. So once you open that folder, you can see all of the different Screencastify videos that you've made, and you can get their shareable links from here too. So hopefully that's everything that you need to get started with using Screencastify to make your learning paths even better by having your own videos. So have fun working on yours.